here is some more, but I found a shell, about two shells. You can see the outer edge of the shell right here that would have been. But yeah, we are up in this area that uh, has a little bit more stuff that's easy accessible. Anyway, I'm gonna take some pictures and then we'll uh, move on. Another shell right there. And uh, something, I don't know what that is. But yeah, that is definitely some type of uh, fossil. But uh, yeah, there's uh, tons of little stars in here. Here's a more interesting trail in the rock. Look at that. This fossilized trail of some sort goes right through this rock right here. Right through here was something either walking or uh, leftovers of something that was uh, imprinted in here. But somehow I'm thinking that's a walking like a, a movement that goes through this rock here. You can see the other little trails, but uh, this one is definitely, you can tell something went on there. Here's one, it's kind of a cone shape. Goes right up here into a cone. A little imprint of something. And you can see all the trails of stuff whether they're sticks or whatever they are, they are uh, all over this rock. Some kind of have a little round shape here. Let me zoom out. Kind of a round shape. But yeah, but that is definitely something that has been printed in there. And for those who don't know, yeah, at the bottom of the sea just kind of rippled. The water just kind of uh, had movement and so it made the sand have uh, these ripple marks that you see here on the bottom of the sea. There's a picture that I should post that'll show you what I mean as far as like these ripple marks. Anyway, all right, let's get going. There is a shell sitting on the bottom of the ocean. Just so you know, just because there's an area that ha should have these type of fossils, the star ones, does not mean that they're going to be everywhere. Just with anything, it has to have the right environment to have a, have a cluster of them. But yeah, you can see right here's a shell. I'm in the area that actually has a few shells that are uh, showing through the the rock itself right here, along with the uh, sea lilies. Must have been a very good uh, place to grow. All right, we're going to look around and then we're going to go. Found an area that's uh, good at preserving stuff. And I found my first seashell. An actual real seashell has the shape of one. That is cool. That is going to my buddy. And if your name is John of the certain type, I'm giving this to him. I came up here specifically today to do this for him. And I'm going to another area too and see if I can't pick up a few other stuff. But yeah, this area seems to be preserving shells pretty good. But it's only in a section of this. You walk a long ways and see nothing. So geological maps are good for certain things to get you to the area, but it does not mean that you're going to be successful in finding them right away because it's, uh, yeah. They're just in this little area here. Hey, let's go look here. 
Let's look at this. I see more shells in the rock along with the star, the stems. But I don't have time to sit there and look through all this. I got other places to go. I'm ready to get off this hill. And anyway, see some more. I've got to film. There's a shell right there with all the star pieces. Another shell. And you got one up here. Which is pretty good too. Bottom half of one. Double sided shell of some sort. Yeah. Cool. This area right in here, this, this place right here has a lot of shells uh, preserved. There's another one right there. All right. I keep on trying to get away. It keeps on pulling me back. Look at uh, those right there. Top portions are uh, eaten away, but they've left their imprints of uh, tons of shells that used to be on this rock right here. They say the bottom parts are all gone. Eaten away by the weather, the time. But yeah, they're all up in here too.